Hello and welcome to the Spectrum Show 16K edition. In this series we'll be taking a look exclusively at 16K games for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. This episode's game is Ghost Hunt, released by PSS in 1983. The inlay features an evil looking skull, but looking more closely you can probably tell what type of game this is going to be. The very short description says you have to gobble your way around a deadly maze with ghosts, power pills and fruit. Sound familiar? Yep, it's going to be a Pac-Man clone. At the start you're asked to select a skill level. Let's try 1. Well, there's a maze and some ghosts. The maze layout is different from the arcade version, not only in layout but in graphical style. I suppose they couldn't get too close in case of legal action. There are three gates on each side of the screen that allow you to vanish and reappear on the opposite side. And there's a nice bleep when you eat something. Control is by cursor keys only, which is tricky, but it also means that you can use a cursor joystick if you have one. The control is responsive, so you rarely make a wrong turn. Everything moves in character squares though, so things do look a bit jerky. But the movement is fast enough to make it challenging. There's no animation either, either in the Ghosts or the Pac-Man, if it's supposed to be a Pac-Man. The power pills when eaten turn the Ghosts into flashing versions of themselves, which means they can now be eaten for extra points. There are several sound effects, which help, but at the end of the day this is just a Pac-Man clone. Gameplay wise it's not actually bad once you get over the harsh looking graphics. At the end of the game nothing happens until you press zero again. And there's no way to change the skill level, the game has to be reloaded. If you complete a level the maze does not change either, so things soon begin to get repetitive. The skill levels just increase the speed, so on level 3 things move around at an impossible rate. Overall then, an average Pac-Man clone, but considering it's only 16k, it's not bad for a few plays, but that's about it. back with another 16k game soon. Thanks for watching.